night. Change the channel. What are you doing? I saw it. It went like zoom. Do it again. <laughs> One more time. Okay, my turn now. Yo! Hello, Okina Station. That was easier than I thought. He actually followed us all the way here. <laughs> that was a breeze. It's no sweat keeping up with a couple of guys still getting used to their scooters. Psh, if I hadn't run out of gas back there, we'd have left you in the dust. I shouldn't have cheaped out on gas just so I could have more money to fool around with. You know, I notice every time I come here, there's a lot of people around. Yeah, if we hang out around here, I bet someone will come talk to us. Actually, uh, mind if I head off for a bit? <laughs> Since I came all the way to Okina, uh, there... was this craft shop? It, it's nothing, I'm just... 
Just saying I gotta go buy some stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go do my own thing for a bit, so you guys get started without me. Then why'd he come with us? You're right. Okay, let's get this plan underway. Sorry to make you guys wait. I couldn't decide which one to get. No luck, huh? This is so weird. I think someone's watching us from somewhere, though. Oh, hold on. I'm sure if we hang around a little longer... Dude, the sun's gonna set. Oh, maybe there's some holes in your plan after all. Mine? Of course it is. Your face is scaring people off. Plus, you're on a bike. My face ain't got nothing to do with this. I wasn't even around until a minute ago. Hey, you're the one who said chicks would come running if you had a motorcycle. You said every guy needs a motorcycle, but that thing's a scooter. Does it, like, not matter what kind of motorcycle it is as long as you got one? Well, it's true that the ones I saw in the magazine were all big motorcycles. But that's just how it goes. There's always a gap between a man's dream and cold, hard reality. I can't afford an expensive one. A scooter's the best I can do. Senpai, can you give me ten minutes? I can't keep quiet after getting shut out like this. I'll avenge you guys! This isn't a fight, you know. What are you gonna do to avenge us? Hit on some girls? Hell yeah! How else would I fix this? Come on, we have motorbikes and we failed. There's no way you could do better, right? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, after the day we've had, it's us who should be avenged. Now that's my senpai! Let's make this a contest. I'll show you clowns how a real man gets it done. Calm down. This is turning into something we've all got a stake in. I mean, do you realize what you're saying? This means we're the ones that have to approach the girls. That just sounds lame. And I doubt it'll go well for us. Are you chicken? That's not what I mean. All we gotta do is ask them to be our friend. And then make them say yes. Nothing to it. Well, I guess there's nothing to lose. That's the spirit, senpai! If I lose, I'll run around the block in nothing but my underwear and those gag glasses Yukiko-senpai had. Only girls count for this, all right? You're still stuck on that? Damn it! Hell if I'm gonna lose this!
how'd it go? Not as well as I hoped. I thought so. Oh, but I did get a phone number from some chick who said to give her a call. Does that count? A girl hit on you? What did she say? Something like it only costing so much for an hour. I don't know. What was she talking about? How dense are you? There's no way that counts. What about you? Did you get anything? Well, the look on your face says you obviously scored. Is that a cell number? What kind of girl was it? Come on, you should call her up. Please. Pretty please. Please. How many times are you going to beg? So you're going to call her, right? Right? She picked up. Oh, senpai's the man. I could hear him from here. Was that dude for real? Well, <laughs> that's the risk you take. All right, I'm up next. Last chance. You pulled it off, Yosuke Senpai? <laughs> of course I did. One phone number right here. Amazing. Man, it wasn't easy, too. She was crazy hot. I just had to push myself a bit and go for a sexy older woman. Time to give her a call. I hope you guys are ready for this. Hello? It's me. Yosuke-kun? Yep, the guy who asked you out on a motorcycle ride. Man, I can't wait. Huh? You know my name? Did I tell you? Of course I know your name. <laughs> we go to the same school. We do? Well, that's impossible. I mean, you... Wait. That voice. This is Hanako Otani. Who did you think I was? Uh, how did you get my number? Oh, God. I'm in such deep shit. D did I call the wrong number? Uh, one more try. Hello, it's me. Yeah, I know who you are. You really want to go on a date with me that much? the hell was that? It sounded like a fiend from the pits of the earth. Ugh, I could feel a chill go down my spine. Forget about it. For your own sake. This number is dangerous. It's better that you don't know what that was. Oh, you guys. Hanako-san! Why are you here? The countryside's no place for a girl like me. I was taking a walk when I suddenly got a phone call. <laughs> You're really into me, aren't you? A motorcycle date, huh? Well, if you want to take a ride that bad, I'll go with you. <laughs> Wait! with this scooter. It's broken. If you want to take me out, you've got to do better than that. The best girls don't go steady for nothing, you know. You need to make an effort. Am I cursed? Did I insult a gypsy or something? Huh. <laughs> Easy for you to say. I don't even have a way to get home now. Senpai, you fought well. I was totally moved by all that. Come on, hop on behind me. I'll get you back home safe. Whoa, up close and personal. I get it now. So this is what your plan was about. <laughs> oh, you don't get anything. And you're freaking me out. And dude, it's against the law to have two people on a bike. It's okay, just put an end to this suffering already. 